But here's a school in Ladakh where the most dreaded punishment is to be sent home for two weeks, where students learn by doing things, where they engage in various innovations to solve real life problems like climate change, where they run the school themselves like a little country with an elected government and learn management and governance that way where they learn communication by running the campus newspaper and radio, science by designing and building their own school, solar heated mud buildings that stay at plus 15 even when minus 15 winters, kindness and compassion through introspection and meditation, a school where the criteria of admission is not your percentage but that the conventional system has failed you. Hi, I'm Sonam Wangchuk from Ladakh, a remote mountain region in the Indian Himalayas. 25 years ago, when I was finishing my own engineering education, I saw that schools were a pain for everyone. But for mountain children, it was doubly painful and irrelevant. Children who spoke Ladakhi or Tibetan at home were made to sit all day memorizing in alien languages like Urdu or English. F for fan, S for ship, T for train. Till recently, every year, 95% of the students used to fail in the all-important 10th grade exams. Together with like-minded friends, we launched SECMOL, the Students' Educational and Cultural Movement of Ladakh, and said enough is enough. Working with the government, we rewrote many textbooks, retrained the teachers and organized the villagers. And the results started changing too. For those who still failed, we started the alternative school that you just saw. And the results? Tewang Rigzin went on to become a top journalist and later became the education minister of Ladakh Hill Council at 27. He had failed his 10th grade five times. Stanzin became a filmmaker and has been winning awards across countries. He had failed four times. Miss Tinless is today a celebrated social entrepreneur. She had failed three times. But now we see that the state of higher education is no better. Not only for Ladakhis, who of course are doubly disadvantaged again, but for you in the big cities too. It's time we change this. We in Ladakh are dreaming again. This time our dream is to create an alternative university that will use all our learnings from the past 25 years. Once again, a hands-on doer's university, where the school of business runs real-life companies on campus. The school of tourism runs high-end hotels and simple homestays. The school of education runs innovative schools. The revenues from these sustain the university while the students get free higher education and of course hands-on experience. But this is more than a dream now. His Holiness Chetang Rinpoche, one of the top spiritual leaders in Tibetan Buddhism after His Holiness the Dalai Lama, is supporting this cause as the chief patron. The Hill Council government of Ladakh has earmarked roughly 200 acres of land and the ice tupa artificial glaciers have already started greening this desert. A fully solar heated mud built university township is being planned by some of India's top architects. Together, let's start the next learning revolution, where education is not limited to just the three R's, all too much to do with the head alone, where skills of the hands and kindness of the heart are given equal importance. Sure, it would take significant financial resources to materialize this ambitious dream. Recently, I was awarded the prestigious Rolex Award for Enterprise, for the ice Please tupa artificial to glaciers. Stage, Sonam Wanshuk. I contribute my Rolex award as a seed for this cause. Thank you very much. I've decided to contribute the roughly one crore rupees 
as a seed fund to finally raise 150 crore rupees for the first phase of the project. And I very much hope that you all will join me and match this contribution according to your capacities. Together, we can change the face of higher education forever, not just for Ladakh, but for the whole world. So join us. The future has already begun.